y'all. Thank you so very much for taking time. Come over and visit with me over on Fritz's Cooking again. I'm Fritz, and I reckon it's time for another Sunday cook, guys, and I can't thank y'all enough to come visit with me. Uh, guys, I didn't think I was going to be able to actually do this Sunday cook. Um, Mom had her surgery this past Friday on the 29th, and uh, everything came out great. Um, she's up and about now. She's pain-free. Well, it's almost pain-free, but uh, she's getting around real good now. But... Uh, Right after we had her home, you know, she really couldn't eat anything. We've been feeding her like, uh, you know, oatmeal, applesauce, you know, uh, scrambled eggs, you know, something light on the stomach. Um, I figured tonight, guys, I'm going to make her some, uh, some, some of my chicken noodle soup. And I'm going to actually be utilizing some boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, I've got some carrots, celery, and onions. And I've got some chicken broth. I've got some sliced mushrooms, a little garlic powder, and parsley. Guys, a lot of everybody uses like noodles or whatnot, and I think they're fantastic as well, but uh, I love these bow tie pastas, so I'm actually going to incorporate them in there as well. So this is not going to be, you know, something, you know, fantastic, but it would, will be, you know, something soothing and something that's, uh, you know, really tasty, and I'm sure it's going to beat the heck out of oatmeal. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, guys, we're ready to get started with our chicken soup here. I've got the breast out. I, I cleaned them off, dried them up real good, and I've got our chicken broth here. And we're actually going to be utilizing, <laughs> if you didn't guess, we're going to be utilizing my Elite 8 Quart Pressure Cooker by Maximatic here. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to start out with our breast here, and I'm actually going to pressure cook the breast. We're going to use several different functions on here. We're actually going to use the slow cooking function as well today. But uh, what we're going to do first is we're actually going to uh, pressure cook our chicken breast in our uh, chicken broth here. So let's go ahead and get our chicken breast on up in here. And of course our chicken breasts themselves, they're actually going to uh, you know, make, uh, make the broth too that will actually add to the soup. So we got them in there, and let's uh, gently pour our uh, broth in here. This is going to be good, guys. And what I'll do too, man, is uh, once we get our chicken breast uh, uh, pressure cooked off here, I'll actually take them out, cool them down a little bit, and we'll shred them a little bit. Or chunk it up, or however I feel like doing it. But uh, I'm here to tell you it's going to be good. All right, guys, how simple is that? And what we're going to do is merely put our top on, lock it, bring it over to airtight. And what we're going to actually do here, guys, is we're going to come down here to our keypad, and I'm going to go meat and chicken. That should give us 12 minutes. All right, guys, we're going to cook this for 12 minutes. Once the P stops, you should see double zeros. Once the double zeros stop, it will be under pressure. All right, guys, we're going to okay, get right guys, back Okay, guys, sorry here. I didn't catch it for you, but we are, uh, uh, our time is up, and we're on the keep warm function. Let's go ahead and vent it. And uh, we'll get that out, let it cool off a little bit, our chicken, and uh, start adding some more ingredients. Okay, guys, right, we got guys. it vented off. Let's go ahead and get our top off here. Let's unlock it. Set it in our little holder there. And look at all that goodness down there. That's going to be our soup. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? I love this thing. Twelve minutes for that. All right, guys, and that's going to be all our goodness down in there. All okay, right, guys, guys, we've got our chicken pulled. It's still steaming off. I want to cool that down so I can chunk it up or shred it up or whatever I decide to do with it. Um, we have our root vegetables here. We have our carrots, our onions, and our celery. And this takes usually a while to, 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 to get them nice and tender as well. But we're actually going to be utilizing the, uh, the broth that we had from Swanson's and the broth that actually came off of our chicken breast here. So let's go ahead and get this on down into the pool. And we use the celery stock and all, everything. All right, guys, what we're merely going to do here is we're going to take it again <laughs> and bring it over to airtight. And we're going to go ahead and hit uh, fish and seafood, guys. And the reason I'm doing this is because I know the time, time increments. And this is going to give us five minutes. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hit it. 
flash in the P, zero, five, five minutes. As soon as we see our double zero, as soon as the double zero stop, we're under pressure. All right, guys, it ain't going to take long Okay, at guys, we've got less oh. than a minute, less than a minute on our vegetables. There we go. It's done pulled over to uh, keep warm. Let's go ahead and uh, vent it off. And this is our vegetables in our chicken broth. Now on to Okay, guys, three. we've got our vegetables in our chicken broth vented off here. Let's take a real quick peek at them. Let's unlock it. I'm going to drain a little water off there. Put it in our little holder. And see, we've still got uh, bits and pieces of chicken up in there. And, uh, oh yeah, guys, we are ready to rock. Look at that, just breaking apart. But, uh, all right, guys, let's uh, move on to step three. Okay, guys, all we right, got guys. our root vegetables cooked off. We got our chicken cooked off. I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken back in. Well, I chunked it up real good. Get that back on in there. And what I did was I actually took uh, some of the uh, garlic powder, some parsley, and some black pepper. We're going to go ahead and dump that all up in there. All right, guys, I want to go ahead and I'm going to take my bow tie pasta, get it up in there. And what I did was I actually took um, a, a, a few more cups of chicken stock and I put my mushrooms down in there. So let's go ahead and get that added as well. Get those mushrooms on top there. Don't that look good? Mm -hmm. All right, guys, let's give it a simple stir. And what I'm actually going to do, guys, I'm going to pressure cook it one more time to get those noodles and everything done. And basically what it's doing is it's infusing everything with flavor. So it's going to be like you cooked it for like 10 hours on the stovetop today. But uh, let's go ahead and get it locked. Go ahead and pull it over to airtight. And I'm going to go ahead and do it for five minutes. All right, guys, we got the flash and pee. Should see the double zeros. And since double zero stop, we're going to be cooking at five minutes under pressure. All right, guys, how simple Okay, is guys, that? our soup is done. What we did, we uh, went ahead and pressure cooked it one more time with our bow tie pasta, our chunk chicken, all our herbs and spices, and our root vegetables. Let's go ahead and vent this puppy off and get, take a peek. I was going to slow cook it for another few hours, but I just got to thinking, man, all the everything is actually infused together. So we should have this one wicked uh, chicken uh, bow tie pasta soup here. All right, guys, we're vented off. Let's take a peek. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Oh my God. Mm. All right guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make us a couple of sandwiches. I'm just gonna keep this on the keep warm function, okay? I'm not even gonna slow cook it or anything. I'm just gonna place the lid back on it and it's on the keep warm. All right guys, okay, guys sandwiches, I'm gonna prepare man. some real a really quick and easy sandwich um, to accompany our uh, bow tie pasta chicken soup here. And what I wanted to share with you real quick is, uh, guys, Jimmy John's, I don't know if y'all have one where you live, but I'm here to tell you that's probably one of the best sub shops there is in the world. It's my favorite, absolute favorite. But uh, I always get the gargantuan, man. It's the biggest sandwich they got, and it's topped with everything you can think of. But what I'm getting after right here, guys, is uh, your sandwich is nothing. I don't care if you had the best toppings in the world unless you got a good piece of bread for it to go on. You dig what I'm saying? And Jimmy John's to me has some of the best rolls out there. And what I do, guys, is when I go to buy a sandwich or whatever, they sell it. They got like a little bin, and it's called Day Old Bread. And there's nothing wrong with Day Old Bread. So what I'll do is I'll buy several loaves of it, and I'll come back home and I'll shrink wrap it and throw it in the freezer when I'm ready to prepare sandwiches. But uh, I get like uh, I, I believe it was four for a buck, four rolls for a buck here. But uh, anyway, guys, let me uh, get started here, and we'll get our sandwiches prepared, and uh, we're gonna get our soup on the table. Okay, guys. I already got one done, but I'll show you how I do it real quick. It's just a piece of cake, man. I just take some some olive oil, 100% olive oil, and I'll uh, olive oil the roll real good. Uh, welcome back home. Uh, bow tie pasta chicken soup over to the table and I did up some of our uh, Jimmy John's bread with some ham and 
uh, on mine, pepper cheese and cheddar cheese on mom's, I went light on the ham and light on the cheese as well. But uh, check out that soup, guys. It's already getting like a film on top of it. I love that. That's what tells me it's real good. But uh, anyway, guys, let's get into this. Oh, yeah. Looky there. Looky there. How is it, Mom? It's luscious. Luscious. Oh, oh, oh. Mona, me. Let me get in here after it. I've been waiting for this. Now, guys, this is like you cooked it all day long, 10, 12 hours, and I probably did it in less than an hour. I like to put a lot of pepper in mine. I didn't put none in hers because of her stomach. But. Oh my God. You know what it tastes like? The noodles? It tastes like... Um, dumplings? Dumplings, yeah. Just like dumplings. Oh my God, guys. It does, it tastes just like dumplings. I could thicken that up and I could call this chicken and dumplings. I bet you could. Mmm. Mmm. That is absolutely out of this world. Hot, <laughs> big time hot. Mm. My word, my word. All right, guys, let me get into my Jimmy John's. Should be good and crunchy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I said, guys, it's all about the bread. Give me some of this uh, spicy mustard. Mmm. Oh, guys. Is it good? Yeah. It's all about that bread. Nice and crispy. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> Get a little bit of my. Famous Dave's Pickles. Guys, I got these pickles at the grocery and they're uh, barbecue pickles. They are out of this world good. Mmm. I'm here to tell you though. Bowtie pasta chicken noodle soup. That is next level yum, y'all. Mmm-hmm. Oh my word. Mm. Now this sandwich took me what, like one minute to prepare? <laughs> the soup, less than an hour. Oh my God. One more bite guys, I'm sorry. It's just heaven. That is, that'll make anybody feel feel better. I guarantee it. But uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share this with y'all today. I'm glad I could uh, actually get one up. Like I said, I was, you know, we were totally, you know, really worried about mom and everything, but she, she did real well. Uh, we had her back home by 4:30 that afternoon, and uh, she's not feeling a whole lot of pain, and she's getting around really, really well. So I just wanted to share this with y'all and I reckon I'll holler at y'all soon.